All right, so this video has been created to help uh, my Year 8 students uh, understand what they need to do in the assignment. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with an example, example 1, which says, for the following floor plan, calculate the actual and scaled distances and write your solutions on the table below. Note, also include the distance for one piece of furniture. Okay, so I believe for your assignment you've got to do three pieces of furniture, but for the example we're only doing one. Okay, so we've got kind of like a made-up room, and when you do it, it's going to be your room. I'll be doing your room at home. Okay, so I'll be measuring that up and using that and drawing a diagram for it. Okay, so because this is a made-up room, I'm going to make up some distances. I'm going to say that this is, oh, let's say, three meters from in this direction and let's say the the wall going along which we'll call the length because length is the longest side let's just say that's four meters all right so we're just making some things up now when you measure it if you measure meters that's fine but it will make your life easier if it's in centimeters okay so we'll just change that to centimeters that just means 400 centimeters and that means 300 centimeters Okay, so I said I'm going to calculate the length of the walls um, and also some furniture. We also need to calculate the width of the doorway, which I'm going to say is 82 centimeters because that's usually what it is, about 82 centimeters. And um, we also need to calculate the width of the windows. Let's just do one window and let's say it's 120 centimeters and we won't worry about the other one because this is not the actual assignment we're just doing a bit of an example so when you do um, your assignment you want to do all the windows uh, also we'll measure the size of the bed um, assuming it's a queen bed it would be about 200 centimeters by about 160 centimeters okay so notice that we've done everything in centimeters and we've just calculated these lengths and now we're going to come down here and this is a, a table that you were given in your assignment to fill out okay and some people said is this all you need to do well no it's just the start it's just to help you with your calculations okay so we'll start by putting actual distances in so wall one We've got a 300 centimeter and a 400 centimeter. So let's say wall one is the 300 centimeter one, the shorter length, and 400 centimeters is wall two. Now it says wall three and wall four, which I find a bit odd because um, if we call this wall three, it's going to be the same as this one, and wall four is going to be the same length as this one. So if we were going to fill it out, we'd write 300 and 400. Okay. So if, if for me personally, I'll just be doing wall one and wall two. Then we've got window one, 120 centimeters. Entry door, 82 centimeters. And bed length and bed width. So bed length is 200 because length means the longer side. Bed width is 160 centimeters. Okay, so we've put our actual distances, our real life distances, down here in this column, and then we've got to do some calculations, and then we've got to do the scale distance. So the first thing we need, to, what we do need to do now, is pick a scale. Now, you can't just make up any number because you want to pick a scale such that you can actually draw it on paper. Okay, and we'll get more into more detail about this later but basically if I'm drawing it on paper I don't want anything longer than 20 centimeters because if it's longer than 20 centimeters I'm going to struggle to draw this on paper or to fit it on the actual piece of paper okay so what I in, in fact 20 it'd be good if you could almost go a bit less than 20 but let's say 20 so you look here and go okay what's the longest measurement it's the 400 and I want to divide it, I'm going to just pick a number to divide it by, and I want to see what happens. So I'm going to do 400 divided by 20, which gave me 20. So that sounds pretty good. I'm actually going to put that in my um, calculation here. Um, 
I'm going to go 400 divided by 20, which gives me 20. Okay. Now this solution here of 20 is my scaled distance. All right. So because I've divided this one by 20, all the others have to be divided by 20 as well. So 300 divide 20, I believe is 15. I'll just double check. 15. Yep. Equals 15. So my scale distance is 15 centimeters. I'm not going to worry about these because they're exactly the same as the ones above. 120 divide 20 is 6. So my scale distance is 6 centimeters. 82 divide 20. I'm going to have to do on a calculator for this one. 4.1. So this is 4.1 centimeters 200 divide 20 is 10 so 10 centimeters 160 divide 20 so that's a terrible divide would be um, 8 so this is 8 centimeters okay now because I divided everything by 20 on your scale you're going to write 1 dot dot 20 which is what you use for maps and um, house plans and things like that. This little scale here just tells you how much smaller everything is. Okay, so what you've done is you've made everything 20 times smaller. All right, uh, which comes in handy because people who look at the plan, which is the smaller version, will know that in real life, everything is actually 20 times bigger than that. So when they look at this diagram and they look at the bed and go, well, it's a very small bed, but in real life, the bed is actually 20 times bigger than what you see on the plan. Okay. Um, now, I think we're going to stop there. Yes, we're going to stop there and then we'll do another video for the next lot.